Thursday, the Missouri Coalition for the Environment will be hosting a screening of the HBO documentary Atomic Homefront that centers around the West Lake Landfill. Our very own Malik Wilson is joining us live in studio with the executive director to share more on the importance of the film. Good morning, Mary. Yes, um, moving here, I had never heard about this, but now that this screening is going to be happening this Thursday, it made me dig a little deeper as to what I'll be watching this Thursday. And so um, we're joined with Jared Ospol, who is the executive director of Missouri Coalition for the Environment, who is going to explain a little about, you know, what is going on this Thursday, what the film entails, and why this is so important. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, so this film is a really great introduction for people who have not heard of this issue before. Uh, it states the compelling case of what has happened over the past 70 something years oh of this yeah of this <laughs> nuclear waste being left in our community open and accessible to the public for many years and many people not knowing what it was what was going on and it has since contaminated a waterway that goes through north county and feeds into the missouri river uh, so it gives you that backstory of what's happening it gives you information about what's what you can do yourself and how you can become involved uh, and also I think the great thing about the film is we put together a good question and answer panel for afterwards. So we have some experts that will be on hand for people that want to come and ask questions of where has this been, what's going on, what can I do now? We'll have people there that can answer those questions. Definitely and I think um, you hit a, a lot of uh, answers that I had questions to, um, but I know uh, with the elementary school situation going on right now, um, do you feel like people watching this film can kind of help the issue now, you know, kind of progress this and speed this school situation up and handle it? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think uh, everyone seeing the information about finding radioactive material inside of an elementary school, I think it woke a lot of people up who have maybe even heard of this, but like, well, it's being taken care of. I, I don't think there was that assumption by the general public that people were still being harmed by this. And it, it, when you really think about it, kids are now collateral damage of World War II. You know, right. today, yeah. seventy yeah. something years later. Right. So, you know, hearing that, I think it shocks a lot of people, and it hopefully will turn them into action of reaching out to their elected officials. And we have had a lot of good response from them, but we have to keep pressure on to make sure that we find solutions and get this cleaned up and out of our community. Definitely. And I see the trailer is uh, playing right here. Um, I mean, I've watched this at least ten times, <laughs> and you know, every time with the sound bites and stuff, it's very chilling to know that this is happening right here in our community um, but you know I think it's great that you guys are taking charge in you know keeping history alive in a good way you know so that we can see what happened mm -hmm. we can know how to fix it and ask those questions in person on Thursday which is amazing and so all the information that you guys are gonna need is right there on your screen uh, it's a free event uh, just go to moenvironment.org and uh, check that out the film will be at 7 p.m. Again, with the Q&A panel, thank you so much for joining us here on the show.